Ild S writes, hey guys, love the show and look forward to it every day. This question is about War Machine and is a year late, but since Iron Man 3 is coming out soon, it seems appropriate. So where was he in the Avengers? What was the real reason for John Cheadle's absence? And also, how did they explain it in the Marvel Universe? All right, uh, actually really well-timed question because I actually just sat down with Don Cheadle to talk about Iron Man and we specifically addressed the, the separation between the responsibilities of War Machine and the responsibilities of Iron Man. So before I go on any further, we're just going to show you a quick clip of me and, and Cheadle addressing that one specific question. Here, take a look at this. Mm. One of the things that I loved with Rhodes in this one is how immediately they kind of established almost like a, a church and state relationship between War Machine, Iron Patriot, and, and uh, Tony. And, you know, why... War Machine isn't called in with certain Avengers things, maybe, and why Tony isn't called in a Mandarin right away. How do you see that separation and how their roles are defined, and also the evolution of Rhodes as we move into Iron Man 3? Well, yeah, I mean, we've got a public sector superhero, so to speak, and a private sector superhero, and sometimes never the twain shall meet, in, unless it's Tony and, and Rhodes, <laughs> right. where at the end it's like, we're going to get together and we're going to both do this together. It was a lot of fun to see the relationship strengthen and get deeper and also to to be in that third act and be outside of the suit and get to do a lot of the stuff just the stunt work and all the wire work. So yeah, like without this isn't a spoiler because this happens very, very early in the movie. Tony and and Rhodey have this conversation where they're sitting down just talking and it really becomes clear in that conversation that Rhodey is the government. He works with the government and they deal with government stuff. Tony is a superhero who deals with superhero stuff. You know, you know and Tony's asking him because the Mandarin's already been around for a while, and, and but he's just a, a regular terrorist in their eyes. And so, like, Tony asks him, like, why, hey, why haven't you guys called me in to help with this? This is, I, I got some new tech that could really help. And Rhodey's like, because this isn't superhero business. This is government stuff, you know? So they kind of set up that church and state, and that really, I think, fully explains why he we didn't see War Machine or Iron Patriot, whatever, in uh, in the Avengers. And I, I like the way they're dealing with that. Schnepp, what about you? Do you like the way they're kind of creating that division between the two? Or do you think there should be some superhero crossover with War Machine? Uh, no, I, I, I dig it. I mean, I didn't think, I didn't really think that much about it. There were some military, uh, you know, obviously in the Avengers movie, some of the army reserves came in just, you know, when the hole opened in outer space and all that stuff. I wasn't exactly thinking that, where's War Machine? Because he's part of the, you know, the army. I figured, you know, whatever. It's like maybe he was going to show up or maybe he wasn't called in yet or whatever. If you're like, just, if you think about it, I actually didn't think about it when I saw the Avengers. And then, you know, this question was brought up. And I was like, yeah, he was probably hanging out. And they were like, don't go yet. Not yet. All right, wait. Don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. They're just holding him back. He was he had a nuke attached to him. He was all ready to take off. Hang on a second. Wait, the Avengers got it. Just chill. You can take the nuke off. It's one of those things. Like, all right, cool. You know, we don't, they don't need me. So. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.